the Queen would desperately like to see Lilibet Lily Diana in person, a royal author has claimed. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's daughter Lily was born in June last year at a Santa Barbara hospital. As she has yet to travel to the UK, the child hasn't had a chance to meet the Queen in person. And royal author Brian Hoey said the 95-year-old is reportedly very keen on meeting her 11th great-grandchild. Asked if he thinks an in-person meeting between Lily and the Queen will eventually take place, he told Express.co.uk, I have heard from people I know within the royal household she really would desperately like to see the baby in this way. I think she would love to, I wonder whether it is going to happen, I would love to think it could. The royal author went on to say a meeting between the baby and the sovereign could have a powerful impact also on the public. Asked if news of a reunion between the Sussexes and the Queen could help signal the royal rift is on the mend, Mr. Hoey said, yes, it would. It would be a very easy thing for the rift to be healed between them. Speaking about the widely reported tensions between the Sussexes and the firm, Mr. Hoey also said, it may not be as bad as we on the outside think it is anyway. I am absolutely sure the Queen holds no feelings of disapproval towards Harry and Meghan, none whatsoever, she would certainly welcome them back if they came. Both the Queen and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have publicly expressed their affection and respect for one another multiple times over the past months. In public statements issued since early 2020 regarding the couple, Her Majesty stressed the Sussexes would always remain beloved members of her family. And Meghan and Harry discussed their close relationship with the Sovereign on various occasions, including during their groundbreaking interview with Oprah Winfrey in early 2021. In mid-January, Prince Harry's representative said Britain remains the royal's home in a statement announcing he had sought judicial review of the Home Office decision not to let the Duke pay for police protection whenever in the UK. The statement also said Harry would like to be able to return to the UK so that his children can know his home country. However, the statement claimed the Duke and his family are unable to return to his home, due to the security risks coming with Harry's royal and veteran status, without being provided with police protection in the UK, for which the Duke himself would pay. In February, legal representatives of the Duke and of the Home Office took part in two High Court preliminary hearings also focused on which part of the court documents should be redacted and not made public, on which the judge has yet to rule. Harry's bid for a review of the Home Office decision was filed in September and has not yet been granted or denied permission for a full hearing. Prince Harry relocated to California with Meghan and Archie in late March 2020, days before the Duke and Duchess of Sussex officially stepped down as senior royals. The Sussex's daughter was born in June last year, when the family had already settled down in their Montecito mansion. The tot is commonly known as Lily but was given at birth two important names with strong royal links. The first, Lilibet, has been inspired by the moniker used by King George V to call the Queen when she was a child and later adopted by her husband Prince Philip. The second, Diana, is a clear reminder of the Duke of Sussex's mother, the late Princess of Wales. It is likely the Queen had the chance to see Lilibet via video link over the past few months. This is suggested by the fact Prince Harry revealed during a chat with James Corden as part of an episode of The Late Late Show in February last year and while speaking with Ms Winfrey alongside Meghan that their family had sometimes video called the monarch and the late Duke of Edinburgh from California to allow them to see Archie growing up. <laughs>